Stickers are small, but the income they can generate isn't. Let's dive into how Ideogram 2.0 can help you create sellable designs in minutes. Okay, first of all, what makes a sticker? A sticker typically has a small canvas, so it's a simple graphic with no or very little text. And these stickers have this typical white border. Unfortunately, stickers are not yet available on Amazon Merch, but stickers are very popular on platforms like Redbubble or Etsy. For this research, let's go to Etsy.com. So this is the Etsy website. Let's first scroll down to the bottom of the page and check the country and the language of the website. We want to do research on the American website, so we set it to United States, language English and currency United States dollar. Click save and there you go. Now for this demo let's just type in kids, animals, stickers. Press enter and see what we get. Okay, this one says bestseller. Let's take a look at that. Yes, you can see these are different types of animals. You can click on this image right here and we see all these different kinds of animals. So these are already very popular. This one also says bestseller. Let's take a look. As you can see it right here, the design is very simple. It has these strong bold outlines and this simplified graphic. And basically that's the style what we are looking for. So if you take a look at these stickers right here, you can see that these are all in the same style. And that's what we try to generate in Ideogram 2.0. Of course, now we need some prompts first. And for this task, I went to ChatGPT and I typed in, I need a prompt for an AI art generator. I want to create a collection of six stickers for kids. These stickers should be cute animals. List each animal in the prompt. The animals should be cute and suitable for kids. The colors should be bright and vibrant. Now press enter and let's see what we get. Okay, let's copy it and then we go to Ideogram 2.0. Let's first just paste the prompt into Ideogram. Now let's take a look. A collection of six adorable and cute animal stickers designed for kids, each featuring a single bright and vibrant animal character. That's great. The animals are a playful kitten, a cheerful puppy, a colorful parrot, a happy bunny, a smiling dolphin, and a friendly baby elephant. Each sticker should have a unique and fun design with bold outlines, expressive cartoon style eyes and vibrant colors like pink, blue, yellow and green. The background for each sticker should be minimal or shaped to complement the animal, such as stars, hearts or clouds, to make them appealing and playful for kids. All stickers should be cohesive as a set. Okay, I think this prompt is a good start. Let's have magic prompt on auto. Let's set the aspect ratio to 9 by 16. We have the visibility on public in my plan. Then we have the model on 2.0. And let's leave the color palette on auto. And for this sticker set, I would set this on design right here. Okay, let's hit generate. Okay, it's done. Let's take a look. Okay, I don't like this first result right here because you can't recognize the animals. Let's take a look at the second one. Yeah, the second one is way better. You have this nice colored outline and they all look perfectly for kids. But unfortunately, you got some errors right here and on this dolphin right here. So I wouldn't use this one. Let's take a look right here. This cat doesn't look right here and this bunny is missing an ear. Let's take a look at the last one. Again, this bunny is missing an ear, but the other animals look quite good. Now let's go back to the prompt and make it a bit more simple. Let's delete a collection off. Let's delete this part with the colors and let's delete the last two sentences. Okay, now it's much more simple. Let's add white background and hit generate. Okay, it's done. Let's take a look. Okay, these look quite good. Well, for some reason, this bunny again has just one ear. Let's take a look at the prompt. Okay, it just says a happy bunny. It doesn't says a bunny with just one ear. That's really awkward. Okay, let's take a look at the second result. These look quite cool. The colors are not that vibrant, but of course you can later do some color correction. The third result looks really cool. The colors are vibrant and the animals don't have any errors. So I would pick this result right here. The last result also looks quite nice. Now the stickers are all on these colored backgrounds and we don't need that because we will remove the background anyways. So I would pick this result right here. Now let's copy this prompt. And then you go back to ChatGPT. Then I just typed in, I got the best results with this prompt. Then I pasted the prompt. Then I wrote, I need this prompt for six more animals. Press enter and see what we get. 
And as you can see, it just modified this part of the prompt. And that's exactly what you want right now. So let's copy this prompt. You go back to ideogram. Then you just paste this prompt right here. The settings are saved so you don't have to change anything. And click generate. Okay, it's done. Let's take a look. These look quite nice. For some reason, they have this pink outline. But of course, that could be appealing to girls. The second ones look quite nice at first glance. But this turtle has this arrows right here. So I wouldn't use it. Now the third result looks quite nice and as you can see they all have this white outline that's what we want for our stickers and the background itself is a bit more gray so that makes it easy to remove the background let's take a look at the last result okay this is more creative these also look quite nice so they are very different from the other ones and that's because of the magic prompt as you can see right here it added some of the details that you can see on the stickers but of course that could also work very nice for these stickers so I would just pick the first result or the third result right here. Now let's go back to Etsy. So let's just type in kids stickers. Okay, the goal here is to get some ideas for kids stickers and to see what kids actually like. So an all time bestseller are of course cute animals, as you can see right here. Then you have some types of food. Then of course you have some dinosaurs. This one is Disney. Of course we want to stay away from this. Here we have some construction vehicles. And of course these are also very popular for boys. Now let's just take this idea for example. We go back to ChatGPT. Then I just type in I need this prompt for construction vehicles. Press enter and let's copy it. And as you can already see it's got the same structure as our original prompt. And that's exactly what we want. So let's copy it. Let's go to ideogram. Then we just paste our prompt. Don't change our settings and just click generate. Okay, let's take a look. This is the first result. I don't really like it. The graphics look a bit off. So let's take a look at the second one. Second one is a bit better. Yeah, you could use this result. Let's take a look at the third result. These also look quite nice. This one doesn't make that much sense. Let's take a look at the last result. Okay, the faces are a bit off right here and on this machine. So I would probably pick the second result right here. Now let's go back to ChatGPT and let's type in I need this prompt for dinosaurs. Hit enter. Let's copy it. Go back to ideogram paste it and you can see that it included six different types of dinosaurs right here and that's exactly what we want and let's just click generate it's done let's take a look okay these look quite nice you can see that the faces and the colors are perfectly for kids and the background is a bit more gray so it's very easy to remove the background let's take a look at the second one these also look quite nice so you could also use this result let's take a look at the third one they also look quite nice and the last one okay i don't know what that is and this flying dinosaur doesn't look right so i would just pick the first result now let's go back to etsy okay we got farm animals these are also quite popular for kids so let's try farm animals you go to ChatGPT, and you may guess it you type in I need this prompt for farm animals and you get the same style of this prompt and that's basically the trick right here to get a prompt that works with your AIR generator and then you take this prompt and scale it to all the different kinds of niches so let's copy this prompt you go to ideogram and just hit generate and it's done let's take a look these look quite nice let's take a look at the second ones okay it's got these double outlines and this one doesn't look right Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, this is a bit more creative. And for the last one, yeah, these also look quite nice. Now it's a hard decision, but I would pick the first result. Okay, now let's take a look at Etsy again. Let's find some other niches. Okay, here we have some different types of food. So let's just try this. And I type in, I need this prompt for delicious food. Let's copy it. Go to ideogram. Let's see, we got a smiling slice of pizza, ice cream cone, a cupcake, a hamburger, a donut and a cute taco. Okay, let's hit generate and see what we get. Okay, it looks quite nice. They all got these smiling faces. Let's take a look at the second one. I like the second result even better. As you can see, it's got this gray background, which makes it easy to remove the background. This pink and white outline. It looks quite interesting. The target audience could be girls in this example. Let's take a look at the next result. It's a bit more simpler again. Here it's missing the face. So the last result. This also looks quite nice. But the donut is missing the face again. So I would pick the second result right here. And with this pink outline you could easily target these stickers to girls. So now you see that you could easily scale this prompt to all the different kinds of niches for kids. If you want to learn how to find the most profitable niches on Amazon, then click on this video right here.
Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more AI tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.